Scoring touchdowns, not a problem for the Rossford Bulldogs last season. Stopping them, a different story. Three separate schools posting 50 points or more against the Bulldogs last year. As Rossford hopes to improve from a 4-6 and six record, defense will be the core fo focus. As our PCSN Carly Ford checks in with the details. Rossford had a high-powered offense last season. The Bulldogs averaged over 36 points and nearly 400 yards of offense per game. But on the other side of the field, the defense was allowing an average of 38 points per game. With a new defensive scheme in place, the Bulldogs believe they have the opportunity to be one of the top teams in the Northern Buckeye Conference. We're, we're a little upset by uh, what we did last year. I think you'll see a lot of energy. Um, we'll be improved on the defensive side of the ball for sure. Um, I think, you know, we got a lot of guys that are out to prove themselves. So, you know, the hope is we'll play with a little bit of chip on our shoulders and redeem ourselves from last year. Despite posting two shutouts a year ago, defense was the Achilles heel for Rossford in 2022. But this new season presents new opportunities, like learning from former NFL head coach Jerry Glanville, a native from Perrysburg. We've tweaked our defense quite a bit. Um, we've had the privilege of having coach Jerry Glanville help us out a lot with our defensive scheme, and we've changed things a lot. But you know, ultimately, whatever scheme it has, it doesn't matter if you don't have guys that are going to be able to play hard and run and tackle. And you know, we think we've got the guys to do that. So yeah, we're, we're excited to, I guess, prove ourselves uh, worthy of playing a lot better. We have great coaching from Coach Glanville, an NFL guy. He's given us some of his plays, so it's going to look good. It's a really easy defense, honestly, but it works great. Just stopping runs, which we got ran over a lot, I'm not going to lie. But it's going to make it a lot better gap sound defense. On offense, Rossford lost a few key players like quarterback Alex Williams and wide receiver Jake Morrison. However, there are several starters returning, and the Bulldogs are adding a lot of freshman talent to their roster. We, we gained a few offensive linemen back. Owen Taylor, Sam Wilburn, and Nick Tadoni on the left side. Our running back is back at Grand Echel. Uh, and everyone else is new. Now our, our one stud receiver is back and, and Caden Kirkland. So everyone else is, you know, competing for a spot, but I really like what we have. So even though we lose some, some horses and skilled spots, you know, I'm pretty confident we got the guys to, to keep it going there. We are uh, very, under looked at. I think uh, we have a lot of talent, a lot of young kids that have been busting their butt these last couple weeks and I think the sky's the limit for this group. We got a lot of guys with just energy. Like we're seeing like a lot more pumped up and after having a like you said a bad defensive season last year we had the offense 40 points every game basically. We have a defense that can really bring it this year and I think we're going to do a lot better. As Todd Drews back enters his 14th year as the head coach for Rossford, his team believes they have the chance to end their season by hanging a banner. I love Rossford. I love the community, um, the spirit, the energy, and you know, obviously I love the kids that I'm privileged to coach every year. So um, hardworking, um, very coachable, and so definitely excited to get it going again. Whatever we want, honestly, if we really got guys putting in work, we can win NBCs, hopefully get to States, but we'll just see, I guess. I would like another banner inside our gym. I think uh, our first NBC championship is definitely doable this year. The Bulldogs will open up their season right here at home as they host Northwood. Reporting in Rossford, Carly Ford, BCSN. Thank you, Carly. And you can see that Northwood Rossford game right here on the BCSN platform of networks. Week three, the home game against Evergreen, also a PCSN broadcast game. Now, NBC play begins at Otsego, and the two new league members, Oak Harbor and Maumee, well, they will both come to picturesque Jackson Ferguson Stadium. Home finale comes against Genoa for the Week 10 road trip to Faustoria.